You will go before me. You will never leave me. Prayer of thanksgiving. So in your life, learn to be thankful. Learn to thank the Lord. No matter what it is. In everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Then when that is done, then verse 7 says that, And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart. Which means that your heart is very important to your survival. Yes. Your heart. And then your mind. Look at it. And the peace of God, which passes understanding, when something passes understanding, it means that you cannot explain it. Unexplainable. You cannot. And that thing that cannot be explained, it has to keep your heart. Not only your heart, and your mind. Because your mind is the seat of your emotions. That is where worry comes from. That is where worry actually works. We must learn to be thankful. In our prayers, there are many things to thank God for. You, know, you can thank God for whatever has gone on in your life in the past. Because your past helps you to correct your future mistakes. Without your past, you will continue to commit certain mistakes all of the time. Whatever has happened in your life, good or bad, you can be thankful in prayer. Whatever you've been through, after all you have been through, so thank the Lord. Then whatever is going on presently in your life, you can also thank the Lord. Is that not so? Because Bible says that your test and your trial, they worketh out in you. Patience. Test and the trials you go through in James. So that it, it worketh in you. Patience. And many times the challenges of your life, it is just a test and a trial. Are you listening to me? So we must learn to enter into prayer of thanksgiving to the Lord. And you can also thank the Lord for what you are yet to see. You will go before me. You will never leave.